All right, folks, Rick Mills here. I'm in the car, leaving New York, headed to New Jersey to link up with John, Michael Napini, and our veteran hunter, Greg Reynolds. We're headed down to Maryland to bow hunt some big whitetails, 130 inch or bigger. Stay tuned, folks. Headed to Maryland, bow hunting whitetails. folks we're almost to John's place it's been a long drive about five and a half hours I'm getting ready to meet Greg Reynolds for the first time turn right onto Lupin Street I'm excited about that Michael Lapini I've met before we hunted in uh, we hunted in Maryland before last year that's where I met Michael before I brought him on the team he's a wild Jager Pro staff member he's in a uh, veteran all kinds of stuff so it just worked out that he knows Greg Reynolds. I'm getting ready to meet him. <laughs> I'm excited. Looks like they made it. <laughs> Set up the tripod. How you doing, What's up? man? Good to meet nice you, my man. You. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Ricky, how you doing? Yeah, what's up? Awesome. Hey, I'm having a good year. I'm having a good year. What's up, fellas? How are you doing? How are you doing? Good. How is Mike everybody? Beanie, how are you? Good to see you. Nice John to meet you, Alan. Greg Reynolds. Good, good to pleasure. see you, Greg. Nice yeah. to meet you. Hello, how you hello, doing? Hello. Puppies! Hello, ammo. Bubba! Ammo and I were out hunting this morning. <laughs> I see that. Yeah, you yeah, had a good yeah, morning, yeah. huh? We picked up six today, yeah. Did you? Wow. Yeah. That's great. I'll clean them up. I figured I would... Ready There's the retriever right there. Yeah. What's yeah, on that so tailgate? What is it? up in New Jersey Turnpike, right? And then in a snap of a finger, we're in a country. Yep. Like farm field. It was like, so, it, oh yeah. Oh yeah. New Jersey's a wild state. Oh so, All right, John, move in a little, please. Yep. Okay. Hang on, Greg. Yeah, you're good. Just breathe good. and just let it surprise Hang you. Hang on a sec. Ready? Trigger. Hang on. Don't, don't. Really? Shoot. Right, you're yeah, good. You're good. Ready? We're all good. All right, Greg. We got 39 yards. Okay. Just breathe. Let it surprise you. Money, dude. Money. That's it. Yep. Zero. Money. Right. And I'm going to aim just like I did on the field tip. You got it. Same exact thing. Breathe and squeeze and don't look. Let it surprise you. Okay, right next. We don't, we don't need a third one. My, da my dad's been telling me that bird hunt's a blast. I never did it. I never. Uh, All right, guys. Hunt. Got something special for you. Little Wild Jagger hoodie. There's an M for you. All right, Greg. Thank you, Ricky. Appreciate nice. you, man. Hey, thanks for thanks having thanks me on this, man. man. Thank you for your brotherhood and service. That is awesome, man. Including me here. Nice. There's two yeah. XLs in that room. On Perfect. The shelf. Little John, you want to lead? Go ahead. You got it. All right. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> 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 what do you think of that shit? Aha! Uh -huh. right. I got it first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for the wisdom to plan this a year out. Thank you, Lord, for working through everything that we're doing. Thank you for this time we can spend with Greg and Mike and just. Uh, the family atmosphere that we have going on. Let's keep it through. Let's keep it positive. Bless us as we travel tomorrow and even back as John moves back on his own. Just give us safety and guide us, Lord, as we interact over the next few days. We give you the glory today and every day. Bless us food in this house. Amen. 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 Checked into the hotel. Headed to Walmart. New yeah. licenses. You go and spend six hundred bucks. Nice hotel. Good job. Good pick, Ricky. Good pick. Good pick. Hard. Uh, how do 
I do it without the pin? Can I run it as a credit card? It should just be a pin or something on there. Or credit, yeah. Oh, there. Oh, there. There. You getting it? Yeah. Trying. You can edit that, right? When I leave, just take What are you mine. doing? Just got my official Maryland uh, license, and we're going to go get that trophy buck this week, boys. Okay? We're going to get that trophy buck this week. It's going to be on TV. It's awesome. coming to a theater near you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? Bolts. How's it going? Good, good. Well, we're making good progress. Just shoot it in. Let's fire 20, 30, 40. Let's Are you fire confident? Two from 30. About to be even more confident. Confidence is high. Yep. Where'd you guys go? I hope the camera was the one that Trevor was talking about. Five. Nice. Uh, 30, you sit right here? Yes. Oh, uh, no, hold on. Circle you aiming? Yeah. Yeah, that looked I great. I felt it. I pulled it. You, last a little. Minute. It was a little. They let us go in two at a time, and I'll never forget it. I went in there. The window was in the background. He was looking out the window. He turned and looked at me, and it was like he didn't even know who the fuck I was. He was looking through me. Dude, I started crying. I'm like, he's he's never gonna be the same. I I didn't think he was gonna be the same. He was in a coma for six he, weeks. He woke up, he had no idea. Like, I, I said to the dog, is he ever going to, like, remember anything? You know? Yeah. He literally looked right through me. Like, holy fuck, yes. how's he not? So, you guys probably don't know my story, but um, I was in Iraq during the invasion. Uh, I was a driver, machine gunner, did a lot, fucking, as I was saying, very lucky to come back on one piece. 15 months. Turned 19 to 20 on my tour. Um, prior to my second deployment, a few years later, um, I was home, my, my buddy was also home uh, from Afghanistan, and uh, we were riding on motorcycles um, when a driver, pretty, on the way home, a driver blew a stop sign, and fucking, I had no memory of nothing. It was so graphic that, from what I'm told, um, some of the first responders were throwing up. Um, luckily for me, the, the head guy, the paramedic, was a lieutenant on the fire department, he'd been on the, 20 years, he'd been on the bit ambulance so he kept his shit together fucking scooped me up it was a Sunday so no major no major traffic going to the trauma center he put he reached in my chest cavity was massaging my heart my subclavian artery severed broken bones in my neck um, a puncture wound that missed my heart by an inch lacerations all over my body uh, when I got to the ER he came up there and I talked to him like I met him a year later and uh, he said uh, he had to come up to the ER because all his equipment was still attached to me and he said, yeah, they were waiting for you. And he said the head trauma surgeon walks in, looks at me on the table, and looks at everyone, and he's like, what the fuck is this? They couldn't believe that I was still alive. So they did what they had to do. And then it was like, I took, in the first four hours, I took 36 units of blood and blood products. Jeez. And then and then the total number I took was 101 units of blood and blood products over the course of the next week. So much blood that my blood type changed from a positive to a negative, but now I'm back to a positive because your bone marrow is responsible for your right. blood type. And um, my head injury was so severe, I was a, a GCS3, the Glasgow Coma Scale 3, which is the lowest you can go. And now the study of 57 patients that were GCS3, not one survived. And they were telling my mom and family that, um, you know, they don't know the severity of my injuries and they, they just didn't know. And so they drilled the, uh, uh, hold into my head to relieve any cranium because I was my eyes were popping out of my face and shit like this is what I'm told pressure and yep. stuff and so they did that I had no response to any kind of pain stimuli no nothing and they were doing that and, and everyone's praying and doing all the positive my mom didn't let any negative person well no one could come in the room right away but she's like you can only go in there if you're positive you know? how fucking cool is that my mom was great man. Oh, she kept her shit together the whole time and uh and, and it was just, and so it was so crazy that the trauma center projected that this is what they told my mom 
a 1 in 2,000 chance for survival, and even less than that for recovery. Right here. Do you guys need anything else? Oh, man. Oh, thank you. Awesome. Already gents. Sacrificing their lives for this country. Rise and shine, ladies. Yay. We ready to go hunting? Oh, yeah, we're ready to go. All right. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go do an all day sit and secure a nice big buck. <laughs> nice big healthy buck. That's right. All right. All right, we're on final. That's it. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Come on, for all 35. 25 minutes. For all intents and purposes, I'm going to fucking can carry that in. I don't want that falling off. <clears throat> It's just clipped, it just clips in there? Yeah. Yeah, it goes in and twists. That's why. It's pretty cool, isn't it? We lost two of them. Sunglasses? No, I don't wear those in the stand. Ball cap. You, Greg. Alright. Famous. <laughs> uh. You're ready, buddy. Yeah. Hey, no mess ups in here. It's, it's light. I'm gonna just cock it and then I'll load the bolt when I'm in my stand. Because no, I do not want to get up in the stand and go, oh, fuck, now I gotta cock my bolt, you know? I don't want to do that. That's probably only 40, 50 times as loud in the woods as it is here. Shit. Well, there's, there's, I can take off the, uh, that's like a safety catch, so like yeah. if I, if it clicks back on me, it stops. But you can go to the silent mode, and then I'm just, that's all on me, because if yeah, it. Yeah, but if your hand slips, it'll. Yeah, oh, yeah, that'll be yeah. terrible. Ricky, How's how are you? Good, to see you? Good morning. Been a while. This is Adam Salton. Adam, oh, Ricky, died with me. This is hey. our veteran, Greg. Greg. How are you? Pleasure. Nice to meet you, Greg. Nice to meet you. What do you say, old friend? How are you? Good, Good to, to see, see you. you. Good to see you. How's everything bad? Been well. Been well. Encountered some nice bucks. Had too many of them missed. Oh, oh no. Had a giant the other day. Oh, missed at 40 yards. Right. Oh no. Yeah, 40 yards in the field. Oh wow. I'm like this with recording. tears. Been after that deer for three years. So probably a five year old or so, I'm guessing, huh? I think six, eight. Oh, that's a big deer. Twelve? Yeah. Ten. Ten. Probably about one sixty-five, one seven. Oh my god. You you don't get many chances on the East Coast to yeah. kill a deer like that. When you get it, you're right. ready to make it Oh, 
Adam, you're picking us up, right? At the end of the day? I'm gonna leave my scent in there. So I, when, we, when they get done, I'm gonna get your number in case they message me. Did you swap numbers with these guys? Okay, great. Yeah, because uh, we're, we're uh, yeah, we want to kind of keep in touch with them. Yeah. Contact. So. Stand, Greg. I love you, man. I love you too, buddy. Kick some ass. It's gonna be a great morning. Awesome. We got big bucks in the area. That's gonna be an outstanding day. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Shoot straight. Yes, sir. Give me up.
Yes, sir, baby. Fucking hey, Greg. Yes, sir. That's a nice buck. Beautiful buck. All right, folks. We just got the call. We're in the hotel. It's like 7:30. John and I are sleeping again. Phone, <laughs> hotel phone starts ringing. I'm like, answer that shit. <laughs> John picks it up. He's like, oh, we have the volumes off on our cell phones. They got a deer. <laughs> I looked at my phone message from Mike. BBD. So we're following uh, Kirby we and Adam. Have no idea. No what clue they what they shot. shot. I don't They're know. They're all stoked. They're waiting up in the tree for us. They're not allowed to climb down. So we're going to drive up. Kirby's bringing a four-wheeler. We're going to see it all together for the I, first time. I asked... Uh, I asked Greg, I said, what did you shoot? He's like, I don't know, it might have had nine to ten points. It was a monster rack. I don't know what I shot. So it's probably a doe that had a branch on its head. Exactly. No. <laughs> Big buck. We're stoked. BBD, folks. Stay tuned. And we want him to be the guy to find it. Even if you see the belly of the deer, nobody say like, oh, it's over there. Oh, there it is. Let Greg find it. They might already be on it, boys. But no, they're in the, they're still in the tree. They are? They follow instructions well. Walk in. Non-stop action. I got so much video. Turkeys, deer coming in, in and out. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right. This is when somebody could get hurt. Yep. Safety first. You come down first, yep. then you're gonna go help Greg get down. Yep. Greg, stay where you're at. Yep. Just relax. Now this is Kirby's dad's property. Kirby's hundred years old life. Yeah, he bought it in 1954 for twenty dollars. It's not 20, a bad investment. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. He was telling us How many that acres? 12. 20 bucks for 12 acres. <laughs> and we just put a big buck down on it. So the guys are climbing down out of the tree stand right now. Safety first. We're going to take it nice and slow. Most accidents in bow, bow hunting or even hunting out of tree stands happen when somebody's climbing in or climbing down. Most dangerous time right now. So we're going to slow everything down, take our time, get the guys on the ground safely. Send in, he send in the tree when you stay attached. Safety first. Put your boot underneath there, and I walk from your wheel, and I literally just put it on. Yeah, he you he's a nice buck. He's an awesome mm -hmm. buck. Awesome. So that way, when that thing falls, you attach to it. Nice one. No, it's not going to fall. <laughs> They're attached to it. Hey, fuck. I thought we were out here today, but I didn't know it would be that fast. I thought it would be more. Fucking go down the road. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man. Look at this guy. Fucking stud, buddy. This is the one that my buddy donated to us from uh, 45. I'd be better. Yeah, 
Yeah. Holy fuck, that was yeah. amazing. That was great. Green found it, yeah. Green over here. Oh, I, know. I got eyes on. Oh, you got eyes on? You got eyes on? I got eyes on. 80 yards over here. Good job. What happened? John, get in there. So, you can talk a little louder. Okay, so, right around, right up before first light, we heard stuff in the dark, so they were already moving. And uh, then that, you know, before, like, once it started getting lighter, we saw some activity over here, a doe, and then Mike was like this. And I saw the doe coming in, so that I immediately moved my bow, nice and slow, setting up. And then there was a massive buck come in, follow the doe, and like 20 yards. Cause I, was, I arranged it all, I arranged it all before they came in. And then there was a fucking another doe. And then Mike was like, dude, there's a fucking massive eight pointer after I took the shot. He's like, did you see the massive eight pointer back there? I'm like, I was focused on this one. Cause he was, I'm locked in. I got those crosshairs on him. And you could tell. You could tell he was telling something was going on. I'm like, I have my window's closing, my window's closing, I should take the shot. So she take was hot. Shot. So he was like, there's something wrong, but I got to get her. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I could tell. I'm like, risk versus reward, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like. Wrong risk, buddy. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I got to take him now. I got to take him now. And I fucking took him. And I saw the whole flight of the, the, my bolt. Fucking kill zone. Boom. He fucking did dink, did dink, did dink, did dink. Crash. Into me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I come into you. Hey, but I'm gonna say you. something. I'm gonna say something. Yeah. The 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 fundamentals of training with the bow before getting me mentally ready, getting the um, the broadheads that work properly with my arrows. That was like I knew right then and there. Like I'm, this is a kill shot. I fucking knew the kill shot. So that was that was Your huge. Your scope's all plumbed up. Yep. Yeah, so well, that's like a perfect thing, like literally, because we were at the house previous, yeah. and uh, we had an easy accident, we're kind of rushing a little bit, bow falls, yeah. gets bumped, and you just take the extra 20, 30 minutes, whatever it takes, yeah. to make sure that your gear's tight. Tight gear is right gear. Yep, that's it, that's it. And uh, and now it's uh, we've had an effective um, yeah. event, so. It's time to track. Are you yeah, ready to track? track? All right, we're ready to track. Thank we're you. Gonna... All right, go ahead. You get on that side, I'll be on this side. Here's, here's one more. Yeah. Like here's where I hit him. He's here. He's here. Kind of like this. I fucking hit him. And then he did this. He didn't duck. He didn't duck. And then he just took off this way. I saw my bolt go into him, but I didn't see it exit. So there might not be any blood right away if there's no exit. Yeah. So what general direction did he go in? Okay, see if we can find some blood. Oh, that's good blood. All right, track him. Oh, yeah. First time tracking a deer? No, I, I've, I've tracked him before. Oh yeah, with uh, my, my with my other buddy because he's he's got okay. It. Well, you got some good tracking skills then, huh? yeah. right? Oh, what is what is it? <laughs> Don't need blood when you can see it. Yeah. yeah. Look on the trees. Uh, yeah, it's like a scene. It's like a scene out of 
Friday the 13th, buddy. Yeah, hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, Fuck sir. yeah. Go get your deer, man. Yes, sir. Go get your deer. Oh, buddy. Beautiful buck, Greggy. Oh, my God. Look at this guy. Oh, woo. Yeah. Grab those horns. Grab those wheels. This is what we heard him crash on, yeah. Get in there. Pretty big body, dude. Hey, buddy. So. I told you I had branches in his rack. <laughs> Thank you guys for allowing the harvest. That's it. That's yeah. Hold think? them up, man. What do you think? Beautiful. Hold them up. Give them, give them yes, uh, there you are. VIP broadheads, buddy. VIP, right. baby. Well, once, we, once we lock them in, they're, they're on. Ah! <laughs> Greg Reynolds, yeah. BBD, yes, Big Buck Down yes, in Maryland <laughs> with Kirby Bryant, Chesapeake. Goose and duck hunting. 14 so, November. So, so the morning of November 14th, we got uh, brought to the stand at, uh, we're getting on stand at 4.45. Um, then we sat, waited, all set up. We heard some movement, but we couldn't see anything. And then after that, uh, we saw some activity. Mike got my attention. There was a doe making her way in from the right, which I hadn't seen yet. And once I was on that, I was able to get my bow in place because I'm like, when the does come in, I know there's going to be some big bucks around. So I made sure I got the bow ready and I was in position. And this one had come in. I haven't even seen him yet. I'm still on the doe. And, uh, and then he comes right in and he's around the doe. I'm like, holy shit. And I'm like, this is a fucking fuck. This is a and I'm like, okay. So I was very diligent on how I moved. He came in. I got my, my sight and my scope on him. I'm like breathing. You know, obviously your heart rate goes up. It's exciting. When was the last time you felt that? Probably last time I was in uh, jumping out of a plane or in combat, you know. Uh, but it was very exciting. I knew, again, uh, Having sighted in the bow yesterday, I was very confident. I had ranged in all the 15, the 20, the 30, and the 40. I knew he was directly at 19, 20. Yeah. So I was like, okay, he's there, he's staying still. I know my window is closing. I was waiting for him to turn a little more broadside, but I'm like, window's closing. And I was like, I gotta take the shot. I held it, squeeze, sight picture, boom. I saw my Luminox go directly into him. I'm like, wow, that's a great hit. I saw really what I hit. And he just hopped away, and I'm like, we heard him crash. And I knew it was a great hit. So it was a, it was a picture perfect hunt. If you can imagine a picture perfect hunt, this was it. And uh, yeah, hey, it was, it was first amazing. Day, first morning. Amazing, amazing. So awesome, man. thanks, guys. Brother. Thank you awesome. very much. And uh, so, folks, this is a Wild Jagger Veteran Adventures Veteran Hunt. Uh, we've had this online. We're a year out in our planning. John and I are. This hunt's been in the book. So you've been waiting. Almost a year Almost to a come year. down. Yeah. Mike was integral, so Mike is a good friend, childhood friend of Greg's. Total team. And I wanted to come down. And the thing is, Mike and Greg out of Massachusetts, they hunt together already. And well, you sent me a video last year of Greg dragging out a buck, man, one arm, and he's dragging <laughs> bucks out better than the average bear. Yeah, yep. yeah. And we right. had to bring them in as a team because, for safety purposes, Greg knows all the ins and outs of how or mike knows all the ins and outs of how greg hunts safety all this stuff so we we brought both of them in we went out to dinner last night we did a we've been fellowshipping since we got here yeah. uh as we told you many times this is not just about you it's about the whole group john and i get just as much if not more absolutely <laughs> out of the experience it's <clears throat> therapy through service so glad to have you here man you are family oh. not just friends man yeah, yeah. you know what your family. Family. You boys. for life no, so good. thank you wild jagger veteran adventures if you don't know about us go to our website wildjagger.com and go to our veteran hunts uh page there's a donation button on the bottom we cannot do this without you 
We need volunteers to volunteer time, land, game, stands, bows, camo, all those things. We cannot do this without you. John and I, we just stood up the 501c3 like a year ago. Every little bit helps, for real. Every dollar counts. Yeah. Every dollar counts. So we're going to pack this buck out. When and it. every single dollar goes back to the veteran. Absolutely nothing goes to any of the owner's pockets. We have four, Zero. four board of director members. Nobody gets paid. 100% of the dollar goes to all the activities that we have planned. Everything. 100%. And then we're still putting money in. Absolutely. We're, we're still, we're not smacking down the Wild Digger Veteran Adventures card for our gas on the way down. You know? Yeah. It, True story. It's, it's just the way it is. We've been doing this for 10 years. I, so, I, I'd just like to add something to uh, before we conclude this video. Uh, a week ago, less than a week ago, uh, I had some complications. I was in the hospital, didn't know if I'd make this hunt. Um, I had got treated for bronchitis and the amoxicillin gave me C. diff, which then caused an infection in my intestines. I had no appetite, I lost 10 pounds, and I was in a world of hurt. And then last Wednesday, they thought I had a blockage in my intestine. I was throwing up, I was throwing up my own bile and, and my feces. It was very unpleasant. I never experienced that in my life. And I remember laying on the hospital bed, talking to Mike or texting Mike, I'm like, hey, uh, I'm really in bad shape right now. I don't know if I can make that hunt because all I want to do is just get out of the hospital. So less than a week from that time, I'm out here and, and look at and look at this buck, look at this opportunity, look at this weather and the opportunity that I always have because I, was, I fought through that, got through it, and I came out here and um, took advantage and executed on this wonderful And last night at dinner, we talked about manifestation. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, John. And what did we say? I said, I got a great feeling. I'm manifesting a nice buck. And it's important so we can shoot pheasants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only limitations you have are the ones you create. Huh. Absolutely. Right. Oh, yep. You good with this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what are you doing with that? Oh, you're painting it. Yeah. It's tradition. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you, boys. Thank you, boys. Oh, he could. Put your finger on there. Grab it. I want to cut your finger off. Ready? That's a sharp knife, buddy. There you go. You got it? Yeah. Go ahead, man. So, this will make me sick. Is it, will, it, will it? I don't know, my intestines, I just got out of the fucking hospital. That's what I'm worried about. 20 minutes, 10. Okay. I like sushi. All right, we got to do it again, you guys. I forgot to push a red button. Too bad. <laughs> Because of my injuries, my accident, my status as a disabled veteran, we are able to positively advise soldiers that have physical and mental injuries. They're in those middle stages of like, I'm hurt, I'm injured. My body is not gonna be what it was before. <laughs> Bo, perfect. The wounded warrior effort 
of taking soldiers back out and getting them in the field, getting them hunting, returning them to the roots, and returning them to something that internally is a comfortable place mm -hmm. so that they can forget for even just a short period of time and move on a little bit and spend time, some fellowship and some camaraderie with other people that share the same interests. That's awesome. Oh, you guys <laughs> Congratulations, Jeff. Thank you, Rick. It's been Thank a you. pleasure to get you out here hunting. Yes. That's the big question that I get a lot of times. There's so many veteran support organizations. Hey, Rick, you're a retired Army guy. Give me an example of one that you think is a good veteran support organization. And well, they, yeah, veteran adventures. And uh, we created one. We went out and we built our own. So if you're wondering where you can go to find out information about how you can give to support Wild Jagger Veteran Adventures, you can go to our website at www.wildjagger.com and then look for the Wild Jagger Veteran Adventures page. When you scroll to the bottom, there's a donate button there. You can volunteer your land for access for hunting. You can volunteer game on your land, volunteering your lodge or your cabin for space for veterans to come in and stay in. Feel free to call me or call, call John anytime to talk about what you'd like to do to help us get veterans in the outdoors and get them out on a Wild Jigger veteran adventure.